Sorry. Thank you for joining me today on My Community Ally. Today we have Meredith Black with New Movement X. She is a trainer with them, and we're going to talk with her today about what that means and what they do. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. We really appreciate having you here. So you are a trainer with Movement X. Uh, what are their policies, value statements that line up with how you like to train and what you like to do? So to backtrack to my first conversation with uh, one of the co-founders of Movement X, Josh D'Angelo, uh, my, my interview phone call with him talked about um, their concept of how they'd like to step away with the healthcare system as it stands currently. When we view our healthcare system, it's more like a sick care system. Uh, we wait until people get sick to get involved, uh, trying to heal something that might already be broken. Um, also really trying to work through a lot of bureaucracy and red tape boxes that needed to be checked to ensure that all of the policies and procedures in um, hospital or clinic facilities, um, you know, their guidelines and policies. So their concept was how can we flip the script? How can we spend more time with clients, patients, et cetera, where we can really listen, we can really learn their story, and we can really give them exactly what they need. That, that is MX in a bubble. We want to spend more time with the client. We want to spend less time with all of the other stuff that comes with taking care of people. Um, so instead of 15 minutes with a client, which is often, um, you know, if you go to see a doctor or a physical therapist, for an initial session, it may be brief and it may be rushed, um, but we typically do at least one hour where we spend as much time as possible getting to the root of, say, somebody's pain or issue and um, really try to build that trust and connection first and foremost, and then move forward from there. So that is probably the biggest thing that I was drawn to about Movement X is um, how can we make it patient focused and instead of um, hospital focused or policy focused, really trying to change the way we view how we can take care of people. And so that's Movement X and you as a trainer, how do you apply that to what you do? Yeah, so as a trainer, um, I had spent a little bit of time in some gyms offering personal training. Um, and it kind of, I didn't really touch on this, but it rings true as well for Movement X, uh, feeling a little undervalued as a personal trainer in other settings or um, I've also practiced as a nurse, which kind of helps facilitate my role in uh, being a personal trainer. Um, just kind of being a body in a job. Um, and so when I talked with Josh about joining Movement X, um, the community that he's created with his current employees and um, with what we call our raving fans for Movement X, the clients that come back and uh, talk about us and love us. Um, I could just see so clearly how it was so special. Um, I wasn't just another trainer in another gym. I am a trainer with Movement X where I can come to you and I can really spend time learning about you and listening to you and um, and really uh, focus on making those connections and, and, and those connections really count when you're thinking about training. It often is for the long haul. So the better you are able to create connections, uh, the more you can serve your clients um, and keep that training moving forward. Well, and connection builds trust. And I think it's really hard to help anybody do anything positive for themselves if they can't trust you to help them move forward on that path, right? So I know that you have a great class 
called Age Proof Your Body. So can yeah. you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. So I'll give a little bit of background into how we came about with Age Proof Your Body. Uh, as Movement X, uh, you know, a small startup company started to branch out and try to reach uh, community connections, uh, basically going door to door and seeing which clinics and which doctors were willing to make um, those connections and work uh, on a referral basis with Movement X. So we landed on a practice called Northern Virginia Family Practice, which is also housed in Alexandria. And the doctor there was also mulling over this concept of I've been telling my clients for years that exercise is a key to being your best self, your healthiest self. But at the same token, it was something she had said over and over again, but hadn't really figured out how to convince her patients to put it into practice. So here comes Movement X, all about moving your body at your best. And here comes Dr. Bouvet with NVFP, who's trying to get her clients to move their bodies to live at their best. And it was that aha, perfect moment. And what it was founded in is actually the RGB workouts, uh, excuse me, RBG workouts, um, her book with her trainer and how often, if you think of silver sneakers, um, the amount of work asked of a senior is usually sugar coated um, and not really challenging their actual abilities. But um, with the RBG workout, we saw the potential and how we could create a workout the way that she trains herself um, and put it into practice with a community of seniors living in the Alexandria area. So we, with Northern Virginia Family Practice, um, I think its original name was uh, Work Like Ruth or something, and we knew the, the name needed a change, so we eventually landed on Age Proof Your Body where we go through a class series. It's eight classes and we touch point on different um, topics. For instance, we've done walking and running that included calf raises, lunges, um, and we've done um, upper body mobility and strengthening that involved shoulders like planks and overhead press. Um, we've done, uh, we're, we're about to do posture next week, which is so important for each and every one of us. But the great thing about Age Proof Your Body is we really try to take it to the next level. We try to get them up and down off of the floor. We even have one class series where we do ask them to do burpees unmodified if they're willing to do it, which is a pretty incredible feat for any anybody but especially for a senior aged population um and that has been when i was brought on to movement x it was one of the first things that i was included in and had the opportunity to participate in as a provider or as a personal trainer i should say and uh i love every second of it i love the way that seniors are able to build community connection, are able to move their bodies and are able to really realize um, how capable they actually are of moving and moving really well if they put their mind to it and if they put their bodies to it. Do you think that the reason seniors don't move as much is out of fear? And if they just got that movement going, that it would build up over time I say that because we yeah. take care of the senior in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's basically a stereotype that old people shouldn't lift heavy, um, shouldn't move as hard as younger populations. So there's that standing stereotype. And then there's definitely fear avoidant behavior in senior populations. Um, many people, by the time you get into your 50s and 60s, you've got, um, you can have several ailments or previous injuries that might um, that you may associate with re-injuring or aggravating with exercise. When research shows across the board that exercise 
improves those things exponentially when done with good form and done regularly. Say even for like knee arthritis, we say we shouldn't be using our knees if we have knee arthritis, but the opposite is true. You have improved pain and mobility if you move appropriately through knee, knee arthritis, which is most often walking. Walking is the best prescribed exercise that anybody can do. Um, but yeah, so I think it's this the stigma and the stereotype and then also the fear avoidant behavior that can keep them from realizing their true potential. Both of those make, make sense for sure. Yeah. So you were talking about seniors and right now going through COVID, they're a group that's probably not coming out as much. So how have you changed how you're meeting now versus before? What do you see this looking like in the future? Yeah, so when we were live, we were teaching at Chinkapin Community Center right in Alexandria. And we, we had just started our third series of Age Proof Your Body and got one class out of our eight in for, um, for that class section or for that series. And then everything started to shut down and we kind of had this moment where we said, can we, first, can we prioritize Age Proof Your Body by taking it to a digital platform, which would take a ton of work, and are we willing to? And the more we thought about it, the more we said, absolutely. And because of just what you said, um, our senior populations right now are not only the, the most heavily affected by the quarantine because they are the most susceptible, um, but they, um, for the most part, aren't able to leave their homes regularly as they were before, even to go grocery shopping sometimes. Um, they're not, you know, community centers are closed down and most often they don't have regular regimens for workouts at home. Um, may or may not even have equipment or an idea of where to start by themselves at home. And so that combination of fear of going out, being continually stagnant at home, um, and just being kind of isolated uh, can create a lot of emotional distress. So all those things really spoke to us. We said we should and we can prioritize this uh, age proof your body class by taking it from an in-person class and implementing it as a digital zoom experience. So we put a lot of time and effort into creating a website specifically for age proof your body where we have um, basically three different levels that that clients or participants can pick from. One is just access to the eight week uh, class series. The second is to do an accountability package where a trainer or another provider offers feedback with a shared document where they fill in what workouts they've been doing and we can give feedback directly back to them. Um, that can also include phone calls, text messages, whatever that uh, combination of um, participant and provider are comfortable with or have agreed on. And then the top tier, the level three, participation can be um, or would include one-on-one -on -one training with a trainer or a physical therapist once a week. So we tried to touch point um, what people might be looking for in different ways. Most people went with just, of course, the eight-week classes, but we had a good amount. I think we had about 20 people agree or um, decided to participate in the accountability tracking to get somebody um, that can really uh, encourage them to push a little bit further. And then we had two or three people that went to um, the one-on-one -on -one training with a provider, that level three package. So uh, it took us probably a couple months to pull all of this together and really consider our options and figure out how to deliver it most effectively. Um, but we have almost 200 signups and um, typically for each class, we have over a hundred participants each time, which has been a really fantastic um, experience and 
our goal for signups was 100. So the fact that we got closer to 200. Um, you got 200% of your goal. We really did. And we do have to thank uh, Dr. Bouvet at Northern Virginia Fa Family Practice for that. Uh, the majority of our participants do come from Northern Virginia Family Practice. So that has been um, a really great experience. It really, it warms my heart to give uh, that population a safe space and a place to exercise and move and see other people doing it with them. That's sometimes the most important part, knowing that you're not alone and that you can do that because you've got, you know, you flip through five pages of people doing the same exercises as you on a Zoom call and it's just an incredible experience. So I was gonna think maybe that as seniors, they weren't as technologically savvy, but it sounds like at least two of them, 200 of them figured out how to get it on and, and make it worth their time. So that's, that's a great thing. Yeah. Are you planning on as we start to open these different phases, is there a plan to come back in person or do you think that you found this niche online because you can reach so many people at one time? Yeah, we've played around with the idea of continuing with both. Um, this this concept of being digital with age proof is so new um but has been so successful that we have realized it it's important to continue uh with it with several more iterations of age proof your body online uh the ability to get back in in-person classes is probably still on the table as well um uh, so we know that it's probably most effective and most meaningful live in person. Um, but for example, we've had people sign up as far as Alaska for Age Proof Your Body, California, Florida, uh, Michigan, Arizona, they're all over the place. So the thought of leaving those people out or behind, uh, we would never wanna do that, so. Um, we're only four weeks into Age Proof Your Body going digital. So it's kind of like at this point, the world is our oyster. So as we finish this class series and move forward, we really want to fine tune and make sure that Age Proof Your Body fits Movement X um, through and through. It already does, but we want to make sure that we can um, deliver our very best product. and. Um, so we're going to put a lot of time and effort into that after we wrap this series and move forward into the next. So it sounds like you're really proud of all that has come together and that you really like to shine some light on this group, age group in particular. Is this what you're most proud of since you've joined Movement X? Is there another add-on to that or a platform yeah. that you're really proud of? I would say um, as a trainer, I always thought I was most comfortable training people like myself uh, because I could look at that person and say, I know how I would train myself. So I feel like I can easily translate that to you and train you. Um, but I learned through Age Proof Your Body, uh, one of my very first clients that I still train was from our live classes uh, at the Chinkapin Community Center. And I learned very quickly that I actually really enjoy training senior clients. And I have several senior clients. Um, again, drawing back to how can I help you realize your best self, which is what training really is about across the board. But to have um, some people in senior populations that have maybe lost a lot of muscle or um, fallen away from their routine for so long that they thought it was impossible to get back to or um, those kinds of things. So um, I would definitely say Age Proof Your Body has been one of my greatest successes with Movement X and it has really helped me learn more about myself as a trainer and what I am able to offer. Um, I feel more comfortable excuse me, confident that I could train really any age group. Um, so that, that was kind of eye-opening to me. Yeah, seniors are good for enlightening us on what we don't know because they know so much more than we do. And so it's interesting, I think, just to spend time with them in general. So I can't imagine then having this ability to help them on the other side because daily I, just in the community, find seniors that just give yeah. me some sort of nugget 
every day of knowledge, which is, I think, the way to live and learn. So, Absolutely. Um, do you have any final thoughts for us as we get ready to sign off here? Um, I just wanted to kind of come full circle and talk a little bit more about Movement X, uh, the, the way it, it's different for myself. So I work as a personal trainer for Movement X. Uh, the majority of Movement X work, uh, excuse me, I'm going to backtrack. The majority of people that work for Movement X are physical therapists and that's what Movement X was primarily built upon, was physical therapists that like were like-minded and wanted to get out of the hospital setting that was holding them back from really being able to give to their clients to uh, building a program and a company that can really utilize the ability to um, focus on the patient first. Um, we also work mobily, which means all of our services come straight to your door if that's where you want it to be or at work or at your gym, it all depends. It's very patient driven. And um, so as Movement X, we offer mobile physical therapy, personal training, um, and just heartfelt services. We really are passionate about doing good and helping people live at their best. Our slogan is move well, live well. And we really believe that and we stand by that as a, um, as, as a being our best potential selves. Well, when you said posture, I think when people say it, you automatically like, just straighten up and it just makes you feel better. Just, just in the simple movement of that helps. And so when you said that word, I noticed I, you know, straightened up a little bit more because that's, we don't think about it. And these days when we're at home, um, as things start to open up, but still we're mostly at home. And because you're at home, you've probably done everything you can at this point or sedentary, um, unless you're outside in the 90 degree heat, like you're out now. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating a little bit here. <laughs> but, it, but it's always a great thing to keep your, your body and your mind in movement helps you grow and helps you Useful, which is what this program it sounds like. Is it really way. is. Yep. Do you, do you think in the future, because I know you mentioned um, the physical therapy and the training, that, that Movement X has the potential to add nursing onto that? That is a great question. Um, nursing would be a little more difficult to include, but we definitely would not leave that out of the picture. Um, the next best steps would be um, say massage therapists, acupuncturists, um, health, uh, excuse me, um, registered dietitians or nutritionists. Uh, that, that umbrella that Movement X wants to encompass really does include more than physical therapy because um, all of our um, what do you call all of our specialties are really connected um, and can benefit from one another. For example, physical therapy and personal training are very hand in hand because physical therapy is typically working you back to your best functioning baseline. And then if somebody wants to continue on past that, typically that's where you would hand off to a personal trainer. Um, and the same goes for, um, you know, somebody who's having a lot of success, but needs specific like one hour massages. So a physical therapist can use massage and manipulation, but would often recognize how they would benefit more from a massage therapist. So um, because those health specialties can be so um, perfectly intertwined, that possibility moving forward with Movement X will also be a great possibility. Um, but I'll leave that to all of the co-founders and their executive uh, leadership, which is fantastic. I can honestly say I've never been happier working for a company. I feel very at home and very um, respected and um, it's been a fantastic experience so far. Are they hiring? <laughs> yeah, they're always hiring. Always put in an application. Absolutely. 
I'll, I'll keep the word out there if I, if I hear of anybody. Okay. I do thank you and appreciate your time today. And thank you so much for joining me and us as we take this next step to uh, educate the community on what you have to offer. And I appreciate your time and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you so much. See you later. Thank you.